Being 50-50 with life. I first heard this concept from Gary Douglas, founder of Excess Consciousness, and it took me a long time to fully understand what being 50-50 with life actually means. The key is to embrace the assumption that we are all infinite beings, and as such are infinite creators. The 50-50 concept doesn't work unless this is understood. It's what got me into a conundrum, which is why I had such a hard time understanding this. The conundrum is, if I'm creating everything that's happening in my life, then where's the 50% come from? Isn't that 100% me? Actually, no. <laughs> we all came into this reality agreeing to quite a long list of rules and laws, and by doing so, it shifted our power and energies to the other. It's important to get why this is important. The other is the infinite, all the infinite possibilities from which all possibilities are born. It is, as I like to say, the soft underbelly of my own infiniteness. It's the part that we make the other, the part that is beyond what our limited minds can fathom. So, it's imperative, when desiring something, wanting, or needing something, that we acknowledge the other as our actualizing partner, that without, life becomes difficult and suffering becomes the norm. Ultimately, life, our experience of everything we are, is a team effort, the team of you and life. It's at the core of dualism, that engine of polarity that drives all motion in the universe and beyond. By not acknowledging this other partner, we end up victimizing ourselves within the limited perceptual box that is the mind. How do we access the other 50%? It's deceptively simple. Ask questions. But more than that, be the question. Where you're genuinely curious about what it is you're asking about. What would it take to find an epic generative relationship, for example? Hold that question, and soon your partner, the other, will begin delivering circumstances, opportunities, and new awarenesses about actions you can take that fulfill that sincere question. A conversation, a Facebook post, a, a look, a new context, all flowing to you from the infinite in response to your question. Now there is a nuance to this. If you're asking the question out of desperation or other fears and emotions, the low frequency emotional content serves to block the broadcast of your question and the reception of all the possibilities. The question must flow from pure curiosity. What else is possible here? What has to change here in order to resolve this issue? Or who do I need to be in order to be able to receive more money? The universe instantly begins the process of delivering your possibilities. Then, as the possibilities come pouring in, it's then a matter of choice. And a choice made creates new awarenesses and even more possibilities. So, say hello to your new 50-50 partner, life. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy Rx. www.pureenergyrx.com.